Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new edition of the Daily Debate and tonight's show we're going to be taking a closer look on two topics. The first of which will be the President's and Egypt's celebration of uh, Labour Day. Now May the 1st is International Labour Day and the President celebrated it in a Sharia governorate at the Sugar Company. We're going to be looking at that for the first topic. The second topic of which will be Egypt's keenness on enhancing the health sector over the past few years and for the next couple of years as well we're going to be looking at the amounts of money allocated for the health sector here in Egypt but before we start our show let's check out this report regarding the president attending the celebration marking Labour's Day at a Sharia governorate let's take a look and we'll be right back President Abdel Fattah Sisi witnessed on Monday the Labor Day celebration at the sugar factory in Sharia Governorate. As part of the celebration, President Sisi inaugurated five new industrial projects within the framework of the START initiative to support the Egyptian industry. Addressing the event, President Sisi congratulated Egyptian workers on the occasion of Labor Day and paid tribute to them, saying that history has recorded their role in letters of light in building the safe homeland. The head of state stressed that building the country in the future cannot take place in an optimal manner without the hands of loyal Egyptian workers, their sound awareness and their constantly evolving skills, which requires the government to carry out the necessary coordination with all concerned institutions, to expand training programs for youth and continue to develop training centers which operate under the umbrella of the presidential initiative A Decent Life. President Sisi added that the world today is characterized by competition and constant change, stressing that understanding the highest degrees of modern science, absorbing and adapting to produce applied technology, establishing and consolidating the skills of discipline and accuracy, discovering the energies of creativity and delving into all the requirements of modern management and advanced industrial development, all of these have become factors other than which it is difficult to achieve progress and prosperity for peoples. The President stressed that the success of global crises from the corona pandemic to the Russian-Ukrainian crisis came to add to the difficulties faced by many countries of the world, especially developing countries including Egypt. President Sisi has always stressed his keenness to provide maximum support and care for workers and from this standpoint he issued a number of decisions and directives. He directed creating an emergency relief fund for irregular employment and to start activating the fund immediately once all legal procedures are completed by dispersing emergency funding of a thousand Egyptian pounds for irregular workers who do not benefit from social protection programs. The President instructed issuing a new document, MN Certificate, to cover life insurance and work injuries for irregular workers. He directed all private sector establishments, the public sector and the public business sector to employ people with disabilities to represent 5% of their workforce as per the law and to continue working on developing their skills and integrating them into the labor market. On this note, the President directed the Supreme Council for Social Dialogue to moderate a dialogue between representatives of Labour and the business community on drafting a new Labour law in the Parliament. President Sisi directed to promote compliance with international Labour standards and ensure that Labour legislation and its implementation comply with international Labour conventions ratified by Egypt. Additionally, President Sisi directed all relevant ministries and authorities to promptly complete the national plan for achieving gender equality in the workforce. Originally launched in 2022, stressing on the need to integrate women in the labor market through the provision of a safe work environment and ensuring work-life balance. The head of state instructed launching a national campaign to improve the mental image in society of the value and importance of work for the individual and society and encourage young people to integrate themselves into self-employment and entrepreneurship and to establish their small, medium and micro enterprises. 
The President instructed all relevant ministries and authorities to continue to develop human resource skills to match future labor requirements. During the Labor Day celebration, which was attended by top state and trade union officials, President Assisi honored a number of distinguished workers.